Sifu! It's a run-based roguelite, whatchamacallit. I'm just going to hop in. We can explain stuff as I'm playing Sifu from Slow Clap. So, let's hop in. I've done a handful of runs of this. I am liking this quite a bit. I think I might be bad at this game. Uh, no, I don't believe the game is out yet, but Embargo lifted today, started seeing some reviews coming out. I'm playing on PC. I'm playing on the Epic Game Store right now. So, as you can see, I'm a young man right now. I am, uh, wait, no, I'm not. I'm 27. Well, that's, that's quite young. But, um, let's go over here. This is kind of the hub area. Let me show you how this works. It's kind of complicated as far as the, the run type stuff. So, there are these two areas here that I've unlocked. The squats, which is the first one, which we'll start there. Uh, and then the club. Now, every time you die in a run, you age. We're going to get into that. As we're playing, I'll explain it. There's a lot going on there. This is the stuff that's permanent. There's a couple things that are permanent. So, as you can see here, this is kind of the overall story. Basically, you can see here your dad was killed, and you got to hunt down the people involved. So, that means it appears that there are going to be five different areas here. So, here's the first area, and you unlock these pieces of information and things like that about the ones that attacked you that night. Uh, and then also you will get things like a pass key that will like, okay, I can now open up this door. It's like a Dark Souls shortcut thing. Where it's like, once you have that, it's permanent. And every subsequent run, if you want to like get to the boss quicker, things like that, you can do that. Uh, pretty cool stuff. So in terms of your actual abilities and things though, that resets. So you go to your character here. I do have these things here are permanently unlocked abilities. You have to unlock those five times to make that permanent. I'll show you that in a bit. Let's just get into the actual nuts and bolts of the gameplay real quick. So I'm going to start from the beginning. 27 now, but we're going to go back to the first one, which means you're going to start at age 20. In the squat. So I'm going to reset all my stuff here. And you can start each level of, I believe there's probably five or six. I, five would make sense considering there's like five parts of the board there. But you can only start each one of those at the youngest age you reached it at. I know this is going to seem confusing until you see more of it. But, like, you know how, like, in Spelunky and other roguelites, it's like, okay, once you've unlocked World 2, you can go right to World 2. You can do that here, but every time you die, you get older. So if I've died a bunch in Part 1, and I was a 50-year-old man when I got to Part 2, I can only start as a 50-year-old man in Part 2. Does that make sense? It it seems like a lot to take in when you're first kind of learning it, but it, it it's not that bad. Okay, so it is not a roguelite in the typical, like, oh, there's nothing, like, randomly generated or anything like that in terms of, like, or procedurally generated in terms of levels. The layout appears to be the same each time. And again, I say this all with the caveat that I have played two. Uh, I've gotten through one and two, and I've died at the boss of two numerous times. So right now, I am 20 years old, as you can see. And I've got a handful of attacks and stuff here, but um, I've only permanently unlocked a handful of them. So as we get some XP and everything, you can see as I start here, I've got zero score, zero XP. That's going to be important. You're going to see how that works in Invader. So you can kind of clamber up, climb stuff. These guys are jokes here. So you got X light, Y heavy, and then you can do finishers. It is kind of Arkham-y in the way this works. It's not as telegraphed, though. You're not going to see a very clear... Oh, you're holding B to attack on the ground. You're not going to see this obvious, like, press Y thing over their head when they're attacking. You need to be able to read the tells, and you tap LB to parry, and you can hold to block. But there is a structure meter, which you can't see right now. Top left is health, but there's a structure meter that's kind of like the Sekiro thing, where it's like, you know, as, as it gets broken, if you're blocking too much, uh, it'll it'll break it, and then you're, you're very vulnerable for a bit. Love the look of this game. I think this looks awesome. There will be parts here when I'm fighting that I'm probably going to be a little quieter. See, I can go up here or I can go to the left uh, because it does require some, some focus. And even though I'm focusing, I'm going to fuck up because I don't think I'm very good at this. I think I got the key to this. So if I want to, I could go through here and skip a large part of the level. But since I'm showing it off, I'm just going to kind of go through it here. All right. Hey, you! What's up, D-Bag? A lot of really cool animations, environmental stuff what going on. Here, See, so I blocked that. Fucked him up. Like that type of environmental stuff? That's awesome. I love that. Definitely, yeah, a little bit of a uh, Yip Man uh, action going on here. It feels really good. It feels very just sharp and, and fast. Junkies. 
I don't and actually, it does not look like my head is uh, uh, covering anything up. So you're not missing anything with my, my noggin there. Yeah, yeah the, the look is just really excellent. I was looking for environmental stuff. There's a lot of good physics and shit, you know, so like you're getting into these fights and chairs and tables and stuff. You can vault over stuff. Yeah, so that that's fun. Like you'll be getting in these big fights and everything and rolling across shit, breaking stuff. It's quite good. Is there a story here? Uh, yeah, Big Easy. It seems pretty basic revenge story so far. Hey, D-Bag. Hey, one other. Eat shit. Fuck yeah. We also get this focus thing uh, as in the bottom left. Oh, it is. It fades in and out. Basically, the only thing you're missing down there. I'll put my head away just so you can see. Is every once in a while it'll tell you when you have this full blue bar that uh, you can hold in and do this focus thing, which you will uh, we'll see how that works out a bit. RT is run. This is also on uh, PlayStation, I believe. I think it's, it's a console exclusive. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I am playing on the Epic Game Store right now. Do I know if Mike and Mary are playing? I have not talked to them yet. Ooh, okay. I'm going to grab that bottle, fuck them up with it. What's up, B-Bag? Stun him for a second. A good chance to fuck him up. Hey, dude. And then, the, I mean, it's pretty intricate, so it's like, if I do a perfect, like, parry, uh, I don't think I got it. If you do a perfect parry, you can uh, hit X and A at the same time to kind of, like, directional throw them into stuff. And also, as you do the takedowns, uh, you get a little bit of health back. So that's very important. To play any Absolver, I think I might have played it briefly, but not a ton. That's the first time that's happened. Cool! All right. Hi. How's it going? About to restart this. Wonder if it saved anything. Probably not, but I was talking most of it, so I can just kind of run back up there. Good stuff. Good stuff. We're live. We're live, pal. All right. That's the first time that's happened. I did download an update, so we'll see. They won't be hard to get back there. I'll just sprint through and fuck everyone up. All right. No, that wasn't the run. We gotta do a full run here. Oh, shit. Look at that. Okay, that's good. Hm. See? Being the, 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 uh, the in-depth researcher I am, I wanted to test that that feature. So there we go. Let's try it again. Okay, now we're good. How'd you get in here? What's up, douchebags? Oh, what the fuck was that? Not a fan. Eat shit. Ooh, that was nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh? Oh, oh, you got a bottle. So oh. After all. Health back. Fuck you. Bottle. I uh, have not played enough to know exactly which way to go. Like, there is some branching path type stuff. So I don't have that all memorized by any means. But I'm trying to, like, kind of collect everything from the board. And as you can see, it looks like I'm missing one thing from this area here. So... It's like Stranglehold. I just love uh, sliding across stuff and breaking shit. I think there is a upgrade I can get where it instantly just throws it from the ground. Like, I don't know if you Open kick it. like a bottle in their face or something. Oh, ready for this. Don't make me bust this damn door down. <laughs> Familiar? I thought that was a really cool, uh, really cool reference there. And, and they don't do this a lot. It's just this one scene I've seen, but yeah, pretty, pretty clear reference to old boy. And you get a pipe pretty early on. Let's get a new pipe. Yeah, the, uh, the melee stuff is really good. I tend to go for upgrades and stuff that melee durability and damage and stuff like that. Shit. Jesus. Oh. Motherfucker. 
So that's pretty cool. And the way it changes perspective right afterwards. It's, uh, yeah, it's like the Gray Fox hallway. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. That's my health. Okay, pretty much full health. Great. Bosses are hard, even like, you know, I've done the, the first boss several times, I can beat him most times, but it's, uh, this is not a button masher, you gotta think about it for sure. Hey, dude! <laughs> Fuck, I'm not hitting my parries this time. See, my structure is about to break, you see down there? Mmm, it's good time for that fucking bottle. Okay, so that's my structure down there, so it's recovering there. Okay, there's gonna be some folks out there. Let's see. There's not really a stealth element. I'm just being an asshole. Pretty much close to full health. Let's get a bigger fight out here. Let's see if I can find a weapon before I go in there. Really loving the physics and just shit breaking everywhere. All right, let's just go out and fight him. What's up, douchebags? Oh, you got a bottle? You're not fucking throwing that at me. Oh, there's another type of dodge I want to show you. Oh, this is probably not the fight to be fucking around, though. Oof. Okay, shit, okay, my ship broke. Oh shit, this is bad, fuck, that was bad. Okay, so that's important. Here's the deal. You see the skull in the top left. That means when I die, I'm gonna age one year. Okay, now that's gonna go up, and then it's like if the skull says five and I die, then I've aged five years. And as you get older, you deal more damage, but your health goes down, so you become kind of a glass cannon. Uh, and that is indicated by like, as you've broken all of these, these pendants here, that's when your life is over. But when you die, I have 870 XP I can spend now. Now you can see I permanently unlocked these things. But I could unlock, like if I want this face smash focus, which shit, I should have used my focus. Um, I could unlock that for this run with 500 XP. But if you unlock it five times, it's permanently unlocked. So does that make sense? Uh, weapon catch seems like that would be pretty fucking helpful. Push back, cancel, push to regain your balance. See, that looks cool. Throw an item, weapon, or object directly from the ground, but I don't have enough XP for that. I... Duck strike. Ducking move. Okay, well, I don't have enough for this shit anyway. Invert throw. Stuns the enemy for a long time. Dodge towards the target just after a hit. Jeez, I don't know when I'm going to do that. This is pretty advanced stuff here. Thigh cut. Okay, let's just... I've kind of just been going with the first ones here. Let's... I want this weapon catch. Now, if I do it five more times, I unlock it permanently. All right, now I'm going to... Re pop up here. Repop up. Revive. Repop up's the easier. You must enjoy what we say in the industry. Okay. No Bummed that I died. I usually... I, I want to beat the. I want to beat the first boss on one life, so I can start level two as a twenty-year-old. Shit. So here's the focus. So watch this. Eye strike. Fuck your eyes. There we go. So that'll stun him pretty good when you use the focus thing. And there's one that like you just kind of chop him down to the ground. Um, and then you can do a ground attack. So, here's the thing. As you're holding dodge, you can even do these directional, like, almost like fight night dodges. So, if you know it's going to be a vertical attack, you can go left or right and dodge out of the way. Or if you know it's going to be horizontal, you can you can hop over it. So, it's kind of hard to get that stuff, but you'll regain some structure, I believe, if you do that. So, I'm terrified that later fights are going to force you to kind of do that stuff more because I'm already struggling with some stuff. Um, and if I have to, like, Where memorize I'm whether to go up, left, right, or down, I'm going to get fucked up. So. Okay. You can also just do, like, a dodge out of the way if you do RT in a direction. But if you hold RT, that's the run. 
Okay. I'm pissed that I died once already. That's that sucks. Okay, so there are these little shrines here. So, based on your age, you can unlock these things when you go to the shrines. I can pick one thing to unlock here. And so as long as I'm under 25, I can do this weapon durability one. This is score-based, so I can do, you know, based on the score I've gotten. Uh, and then there's XP, which you actually spend the XP. So I can get weapon proficiency, improve weapon damage. But I might be over 25 next time. So I'm going to get this age-based one. And these reset each time. These are not permanent. These are for each run. Idle Song says, appreciate that you let yourself die to show off the death mechanics. Yeah, well, you know, as a as a uh, analytic what games researcher, here, I, I thought it was necessary. I'm glad you, you noticed that's what I'm doing. Shit. Mm, look at that. Fucking parry. Eat shit. All right. Fuck your game. Beat the shit out of them and throw their game table over. <laughs> Sprinting through tables. It's good. Okay, so I'm gonna run. Another jump here. It's not it. platforming, you just run towards it. Hmm. Big motherfucker. Here we go. Shame. I'll have to throw you back through it. This music's great. Alright, dipshit. Let's do it! Oh! It's one of those games where it's like if you go through a combat encounter and really kind of nail all your parries and everything and fuck them up, it feels it feels real good. Okay. And again, some branching path stuff, not a ton, but it's not procedurally generated, so you really can kind of get to know the areas and things like that. in here? Okay. Oh, we got drug stuff going on in here. That's illegal. We gotta stop this, this shit. Fuck you! Oh! What if I swept and then fucked you up on the ground? Oh wait, you're already dead. Fuck. Ooh, right against... Oh, fuck, this is a small room for this shit. Fuck your money. Fuck your drugs. For a weapon. Nothing. Oh, you got one. All right, you small fry. Here we go. Yeah? Throw you into you? Fuck you? Mmm. Mmm. Oh, shit. Ooh, shit. Shit, get the fuck out of here. Going bad. Shit. Shit. Get some help back. Throw you into you. Shit. Ooh. Oh, here. Fuck you. Sweep. Bah! Oh, it's alive, huh? Huge fucking pipe. Nope. No need. Done. Sliding through this shit is fucking cool. <laughs> All right, uh, I took more damage than I would like to. I think I'm pretty low still. Eh, 30%. Okay. Seems like people in the chat are enjoying uh, how this game looks. It's fun. I, I'll tell you, it's frustrating. It, it is difficult, but in a way that feels like, like I feel like I suck when I'm dying. I feel like it's, it's rarely like the game putting me in unfair situations, you know? Dan, if you redo an area like this and reset your age, do you get to keep anything from your previous tries? Yeah, so just the board stuff. So like like I said, the, the key stuff, so things like that, then when you unlock the shortcuts, you can keep that. So you do unlock stuff where it's like, 
the things I permanently unlocked, the moves, obviously, but also any keys or anything that allow you to kind of get through areas faster. Okay. Get which way's which here? Have I gone here? How the fuck you get in here? Have I been in here? You must have taken a wrong turn. There's some dialogue options that I it does not seem like there's a whole bunch of stuff in the facts. You really gotta make sure you don't allow yourself to get too kind of surrounded. Because you, you can get overwhelmed pretty easily! But since I beat that mini boss earlier, that brought it down to zero again, the skull thing. So now I'm back at one. So, ooh, I can do that charge back fist now. So that's just hold Y. Okay. You gotta remember too, like what you've unlocked and, uh, you know, use it. So you can do a run to explore, then reset and do an optimal run to keep your age low. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that was the charge back fist. I like that. Charge up this fucking backhand. Any regrets now? Come on. Back fist! Okay. Oh, I would rather have this pipe. Is there anything in here? This doesn't look super familiar. Still taking damage. 22. That's pretty young still. The youngest I've beaten this first level is 27, I believe. Um, I just saw someone say uh, Will plays. Uh, concern is remembering button combinations and stuff. It does list it here very easily. Um, there's not a. T it's not like full on like fighting game move list, but there's a decent amount. Like I forgot that I have the snap kick. I permanently unlock the snap kick if I do up up Y. So, yeah, it's it's a lot. Like this is a challenging game in a lot of different ways. So I don't mean to undersell that. But it feels fucking good. Okay, this first guy's the bot. Okay, this this, is, this seems very illegal. Whatever's happening in here. Let's go over to the authorities. Speed runs. This game should be real good. Ooh, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, I can see speed runs being awesome in this. This dipshit. I guess there's a very very light stealth element here. If I get the drop on him, I might get the... Yeah, I mean, it... Maybe they don't have their structure up if you kind of sneak up on them like that, because they got to the takedown prompt real quick. Oh, hello! Shit. Oh! What's up? Fuck. I don't like the fact that my back's to the wall, and there's a billion people here, and some of them are armed. Okay, I need to get the fuck out. I don't see an obvious. Oh, there we go. Go. Help. You can move out of the way or duck a punch or something, and they will hit the person behind you. That can be really cool. It up real fast. Ooh! Oh! Uh, camera mostly does a good job of keeping up with stuff. There are times where it's like, uh, I feel like I can get a better look at this, and I need to because I'm fighting, but it's rare that it's a problem. Too much damage. And the bosses fuck me up. Like, I guess there is like a certain amount of kind of, I don't want to say mashing, but uh, you can, especially on these early enemies, you can do kind of a bunch of X's and Y's and do a decent job, but on the bosses, not so much. Okay. I like the back fist. Okay. And yeah, I, I saw something in like I think the reviewer's guide or something said like, oh, see if you can do the ultimate thing and beat the game in one run as a you know twenty year old. Holy shit, that seems like a fun. Okay. 
See, so since I cleared this encounter here, that went back down to zero. But you can see your character. So because of my age, I don't have any, like there's no health or damage stuff. I'm still very young, I'm 23. So nothing's coming to play yet there. Yeah, seeing really skilled people do runs like all the way through as a 20 year old speed run type stuff, like that's gonna be awesome. I tried to dodge that. Okay, what's the health? Yeah, okay, 75%, I'd say. Just weed! Oh, wow, Jackie says, I think speedrunners will try to become elderly if they get a damage bonus. Interesting. Yeah, that'll be interesting to see how people do that. This is not a terrible run, but I don't think this is a good run I've had so far. Let's see what we can get here. I'm still under 25, so fuck. I mean, do I take that while I can? I think there's one that gives you health. Increase health gained on takedowns. I feel like I want that now. That seems huge, because you're constantly doing takedowns. I constantly want health. What is this building? It's a bamboo factory? I wonder where this thing is that I haven't picked up, because I feel like I've, I've done a good job exploring and trying to pick everything up on every run. Although, have I gone... What is this? Locked. See? Maybe there's something in a later area that I can get that will unlock that. You know what I mean? So, like, in area three, I might find a key, and the keys are permanent unlocks. So next time I come back here, I could unlock that, you know? boss. I'm going to die a couple times here. Especially in the second phase. Is he making weed? Whatever he's doing seems highly illegal. Let's do it! Fucking dodge. That went pretty well, but the second part's harder. It's pretty fucking cool, right? He does this attack from the bamboo that I can never fucking parry correctly.
Fuck. Locks in here. Face smash that I never use. Or wait, the charged back fist. Oh, I don't have enough to do that. Okay, so that's for bat weapons, direct attack to daze your enemy. It's a focus attack in these two bars. I don't even have two bars right now, but that's fine. Stick. 24. I've gotten to level two as a younger man now. So now I can start level two permanently as a 24-year-old. So I'll have a better start there. Okay. Cool. All right. I guess I might as well try level two here. Are most of the fights always the silent and focused because I'm liking that a lot. Yeah, it's not a lot of like Rocky Four like artillery sound effects every time you punch. It's a lot of like, it's, it's, it's really cool. All right. Uh, somebody asked about training. I think you can just go over here. I think, or is this a level up? Yeah, you can also level up here. So let me uh, try to unlock, permanently unlock this charge back fist. And might as well get another on the face smash while we're at it. I'm focusing on permanently unlocking right now just because, like, I don't really think, you know, th this is not going to be the one, you know. Let's go to the club. 24-year-old at the club. Here we go. I didn't even like clubs as a 24-year-old. Bars. Marty says, make sure to use Dan's uh, Epic Games store code. Yeah. Put in, uh, I think it's, uh, do you have to be all caps? Dan Reichert at uh, your checkout, if you're getting this on Epic. And it kicks them back to me. Thanks for bringing that up. I always forget about that. Do these dopes. Ready for the club? Let's party. So I got one skull on me now. So I think that means I'll age one additional year. So that, I think that means I'd age two years. So I don't think the skull shows up. You can't keep up. Just the one. Mm. Pro punches are great. One yeah. ticket, please. What do you I got want? my tickets to clubs to you. Hello, fellas. takedowns because I want to get the health. I think this scene's awesome. This is just such a John Wick or Terminator like 80s club where you go in and kick everyone's ass. I'm going to ask kicking mode just yet. Go get a drink. One drink please! Oh, hey. Oh, hi. What's up? Do you want uh, to get hit in the eye? You want a drink? Some drinks. 
There you go. Too many. This is too many. Who wants to come back here? I'll fight someone. Oh, you? Come on. Somebody come over here. One at a time. Yeah, you? Yeah, see how this guy's got this kind of like aura around him? That means I will reset the death counter, see, when I kill him. So certain enemies are tougher, and some even require like a couple takedowns, uh, but they will reset the death counter. Two? I think I got two. Sitting the death counter. Think of it as, as almost like lives, because like you know, once you become an old man, you're dying quicker. And once you're like, you know, if you're like 70 or something and you die, it, the game's over. Shit! I'm trying to dodge to the left. Abby. Hello, Abby. Okay, let's get that taken down. So she, she's got that aura. So, boom. Death counter goes down. Let's see what we can get here. I kind of want to keep getting that health gained on takedowns while I'm under 40. As a 37 year old man, I typically, when I reach shrines, I try to, uh, to go for that too. Because I only got three more years of that. Be armed. I want a stick thing that I can hit people with. It's really fun to throw glass bottles in people's faces, though. So, this I unlocked a key card thing that will let me go here, but I honestly don't know this second level enough to know. Am I skipping stuff? I'm not really sure what's going on here. I don't think I want to be this far yet. Shit. Okay, well, fuck. Hey, what's up? I think I did just skip a good part of this level. Full health. Hell yeah. Okay. Now, that's interesting to see. Like, I don't think I can backtrack now. So, yeah. Okay. Well, I might be a young man when I fight the boss of the second area. Now, I was here once, and I tried to go into a door, and she told me, like, oh, you know, you... Oh, Jesus Christ. She's like, you weren't fast enough. So I don't know if that's a speed thing or an age thing, or if, like, certain things are gated. Oh, Jesus. Based on how old you are, like, I, I don't know. There, there, there's parts of this I don't quite understand yet. 
Jesus, this is not going to go well. That's a lot of people. Also, I don't think I have to fight her. I might just be causing trouble for no reason here. Run bricks and faces. Help! No stick! Ugh! Three more times. Two more times for the back fist. Okay. And it gets tough. As you get older and you have less health, it really becomes like you start aging very fast. Oh, fuck that. So it really is kind of a snowball going down the hill. Like these runs early on are definitely longer than the ones you'll see later. Fuck yes, eat shit. Okay. And the loser, a thief. This battle isn't over yet. You're a fast learner. Yeah, again, I don't think I need to fight her, but maybe that's a good move for XP. Come on. Or maybe it's bad because she'll kick my ass. So see, I got two skulls now, so that's going to start going fast. I really want to get that stick. Okay, I got it. Why did I fight her? Okay. I take one step down. Okay. Woo! So I don't think I get anything. I don't think I have, like, access to a door up here that she was guarding. No, I think I just fought her for, like, XP. I'll take a stick over a brick. Is that like a club? I'm gonna take a club over a stick. Yeah, it seems like another stick. <sighs> I think this is really cool. fights and everything, but it's cool to get those one on ones. Shit. Kick your ass. Ducked it. save up for that one. 30. Getting up there. You want some more? But I'm doing more damage. Come on, wake up. Fuck. Uh. Fuck. I'm Oh, see? That's a camera situation that's, you know, that's on me. I should have not gotten backed up there. But that's what I'm talking about with like every once in a while the camera will get you. Not where you want. Dodging's harder than blocking, I would say. Okay. See, this is what I'm talking about. I'm gonna start aging fast. Okay, bring it down to two. So I'm 33. I got two skulls on me right now.
Yeah, dodging is way riskier, because, yeah, you got to dodge left, right, up, or down. Or you can do, like, kind of the fast dodge out of the way, which I should probably do that more. But you actually regain, I believe, structure. Structure could be focused, but I think it's structure if you directional dodge, which just seems way harder. And I'm, I'm just bracing for that becoming more of a needed thing later on. This? I don't think I can do anything with this. I think I'm going to need a key or something to get in that. Very curious, too, to see just the different environments. Because as, as you can see from, like, the slums in the first one and the club in this one and this fire, like, village here, like, it's some cool environments for sure. All right, motherfuckers. Here we go. One at a time. Try to that isolate. Six. You impress me. This is what I was like a year ago. Yeah. Jesus, he's really he's aggressive. You know what? Eat shit. Mm. Probably jump over that sweep. Six. I have three skulls on me, which means I'll be 39 if I die here. And I'm sucking. So, don't know if this is going to be the time I beat the second level. Let's see if we can get here. Uh, I can get one more health on takedown. Honestly, at this point, I just need to beat this fucking boss. Maximum structure seems helpful. Reset your death counter to zero. I'm only on three. I'm not going to spend a hundred. And you know what? I want to use my XP for permanently unlocking that thing. So let's just do this in case he's got ads. C4, my arms are yours. Leave. I recognize that uniform. It represents a school for the weak and feeble. Never beaten this guy. I don't even think I got super close. Uh, hey, 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 can I get a weapon too? Lady, let me. Oh, hey, hey, buddy. Hey, can I grab this, please? Hey. Okay, so now I can permanently unlock this. Okay, so now my damage is up, my health is down. Shit. I just want to grab the stick.
See what I mean? This happens every time. I, I think I just need to learn his attacks way better. Go ask him about the voice acting. Let's see if there is language, text language, subtitles, sound. I'm not seeing options to actually change the language. I think he does a lot of vertical attacks. I wonder if I can dodge right easier. Fuck! He's got range. Fuck! Okay. Let's end this. Stick. It just makes it so hard to even get out if I want to, like, retreat, get some structure back, and get a weapon. Mm. Do you perform worse as you age? I've been trying to figure out if it takes you longer to, like, get up off the ground and stuff like that. Um, I, I don't know for sure. Mind be on fire, please? That seems helpful. <laughs> See, I feel like dodging back is not as helpful with him because he's got such range. I think I might need to learn how to just like directional ooh, directional dive or get out of the way. Seems to be a trick. Shit. Whoo, boy. This might be the last life, I think. As stubborn as our elder masters. Directional dodging is definitely helping here, but not enough. Is there any weapons for me? He's actually pretty hurt. I don't know if there's any weapons for me now. Oh, that's it. Hmm, that's the farthest I've gotten. And so now I hit when you try again that brings you back here so now you see i can start at the club at 24 and you know you can kind of just run right there to the boss if you want to um fuck 
But I unlocked, I permanently unlocked some stuff, so that's what carries over. If I had found any environmental stuff or keys there or anything, then that would have carried over. But I permanently unlocked that one thing. And the the purchases towards the permanent un unlock on the others, I believe, stay. Uh, yeah. So you can check here. Go to the character here. You can see the things that you have permanently unlocked here. See, I got that back fist now. So, Yeah. That is Sifu. Uh, like I was saying, it's uh, it's very hard. It's very, very hard. So if you don't have any patience for like learning, like you can see there, I can tell that second boss, I'm gonna have to learn how to start doing directional dodges and, and you know, pr preparing for his attacks and, and dodging accordingly. So it's going to require a lot, but it's very fun. It's got a hell of a style to it. And uh, I'm very into what I've played so far. So that is Sifu 